I never wanted to be a husband. I'm gonna tell you right now, ladies, there's not a man in this room that wants to be a husband. No man woke up one day and was like, you know what, I'm tired of making my own decisions. I would like to be questioned all the time about everything I do. Why'd you park there? I don't know why you park there. Why? Why would you park there? I don't know why. Oh, I can't take it, man. I lose it. Fine! Tell me where to park, boss. Tell me where you're gonna park this car, please. Oh my God, you're mad. You have anger problems. No, I have wife problems. Because I park this car all the time by myself. I never get mad. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's you. I've never once parked my car and said, why did I park here? Why would I park here? Oh, she's perfect, my wife. Never makes any mistakes. But this is the same person that walks around our house every day going, call my phone, can you call my phone? I, I, don't, I don't know where my phone is, can you? Babe, just call it, babe, call my phone. Oh, it's in my purse. I had it on silent. Now, where's my keys? I don't know where my keys are. Uh, she's always late, my wife. I'm late. I'm late, I can't find my keys. I'm gonna have to take your keys. Where are your keys? On the hook that says keys. That's, that's where my keys are. Oh, she'll take my keys. Leave me at home trying to find her keys. 20 minutes later, I'll get a phone call from her. Oh, I have both sets of keys. I'm sorry. No, sorry people bring their husband their keys back. That's, she's not coming back. I'm gonna tell you, she's, not, she's gonna do whatever she has to do. Now let me tell you something, people, if I have both sets of keys, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I better bring her her keys back. I could be a heart surgeon doing heart surgery. I'm like, fellas, I gotta go. But Dr. Trevino, if you leave, he'll probably die. Well, me or him, so. My wife has a hair appointment. Right? I'm in charge of anything car related. Lights come on the dashboard, I turn them off. It's what I do. If I haven't been in my wife's car in a while and I get in it, they're all lit up. Like, like she hit a slot machine. I'm like, baby, what? I don't even know what those are. I... Good, that's a flat tire. That's... How long has the oil light been on? <sighs> Since we got it. I don't know. It's always been on. She doesn't wash her car, man, that pisses me off. My car's clean, always. If I'm drinking a bottle of water, the bottle of water comes with me all the way to the trash can. Not my wife's car. Her car is the trash can. Oh, Starbucks cup, why not? Eight half-drank bottles of water, tambien. It's like she took a granola bar, beat the crap out of it decided not to eat it and just went, nah. <laughs> Let the peasants clean it. <laughs> you know who the peasant is, right? Yeah, it's me. Oh, well, she knows I'm gonna clean it. And I'm cheap, I go to the do-it-yourself car wash. She won't even get out of the car. Oh, well, she'll sit in the car on her iPad like an emperor. <laughs> I'm outside in the hot sun with the foam brush. So I'm gonna finish in four minutes. I'm not putting another quarter in there. My goal is to start somebody else's car. I got time, get in here, buddy. I got... Look, man, I'll be honest with you. Look, I don't, I don't mind taking care of my wife, right? I, I was raised here in Texas, so, you know, my dad raised me to take care of my wife, you know? I don't mind taking care of my wife. My wife doesn't even pump her own gas. However, I do have a problem with the fact that she doesn't appreciate it. She expects it. You know why she expects it? Because she's a daddy's girl. Yep, her daddy did everything for her. You're already laughing. 
Oh, all I hear at my house, my father, my daddy. Oh, you don't know how to do it? My daddy does. My daddy knows. My daddy knows how to do everything better than you. Oh, if my daddy would have done that shelf, it would have come out better, my daddy. I ask her, I'm like, hey, baby, how come you don't wash your car? <laughs> my daddy would never allow me to wash the car. How come you don't take out the trash? <laughs> These hands have never touched trash. My father would not allow me to touch trash. She wanted to have a natural childbirth. Don't do those. Every few minutes, she'd hulk out at me. I'm gonna punch you in your face. I'm like, like there's a man in there. At one point, she called me to her like the devil herself. She was come here, motherfucker. The nurse goes, she's talking to you. So I put my piece of pizza down. Let me tell you something, people. You do not know the physical strength of your wife until you meet her in labor. And she grabs your titty with the strength of 15 gorillas and shakes you. Finally, the doctor lady, the doctor lady pulls me outside. She goes, we need to do something. I said, we? I go, I don't work here, lady, I'm scared. I came in here with a woman, there's a man in there. I go, look at my tit. She goes, we recommend an epidural. I said, we recommend an exorcism. I go, look, I don't know what epidurals are. And a lot of you fellas know this. They don't let you in there to see the epidural. They asked me to leave. That's weird to me, because I could watch my child come out, but I can't watch you do an epidural? What's an epidural? I don't think it's medicine at all, people. I think three priests come in the room. People always tell you that you know, when you have kids, it changes your life. It does, man, and, and one of the most beautiful things in all the world is a child's laughter. My son's laughter is the most beautiful thing in the world. He's two right now, it's amazing. I love to make him laugh. He walks past me, I trip him, you know. <laughs> I tackle him, I body slam him. He loves to get, body slam me, dad. I'm like, yeah, like I body slam him. But at the same time, as much as it makes you happy to hear them happy, it hurts you, it makes you sad when they're sad, right? But when he's sad, he doesn't want me. He wants the babe. <laughs> oh, two in the morning, he'll wake up in his room, babe. Babe, 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 My wife and I wake up in our room, and my wife's like, oh my God, can you help me this time? I'm like, he clearly said babe. Like, <laughs> Renee, that's you, honey. <laughs> Just help me. I'm like, I'll go over there. I will. I'm a good husband. I will go over there but the look of disappointment <laughs> on my child's face when I walk in the room and I'm not the babe. My son's in his crib like this. <laughs> what are you doing? Does it look like I wanna play? I don't need body slams, man, I need hugs. Go get the babe. We put them in daycare. They don't warn you about daycare. The first two weeks are rough. I had not taken them to daycare, okay? I work nights, my wife does mornings. One night my wife says, tomorrow I'll take them to daycare. I said, I can do that, okay? I get to daycare, as soon as my son sees the daycare, he goes, no, daddy, no. Please, daddy, no. And I was like, what are they doing to you at daycare? Show me on this doll. I called my wife right away. I said, babe, he said, no, daddy, no. My wife's a savage. She goes, drop him off, he'll get over it. I was like, ooh. You gotta stay, buddy. I'm just the assistant coach. 
Your mom's the head coach. He cried the whole time, man. It hurt me. I left him in the room. He was crying to me. Daddy, no. I was crying back to him. I'm sorry. But your mother is scary. I don't take him to daycare anymore. No, sir. I make the wife do it. I pick him up like a hero. I show up every day all badass. I came as soon as I heard, son. Let's go. Who left you here? I woke up, you were gone. What happened? <laughs> Babe, that's how she is. Let's go. <laughs> Look, man, I will admit to you right now, being the dad is the best job in the world. Ladies, you got it tough. I will admit that. So if your wife takes care of your kids, give her a round of applause, man. Women are amazing. Thank you. My wife, my wife's amazing. She does a great job with that little boy, but recently she had a mommy meltdown. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. It scared all of us. It was a normal day at the house. I'm sitting on the couch like I do watching TV. I don't know what she's doing. And all I hear is my son go, babe, 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 babe. And remember, I'm trying to watch TV, so I'm like, babe. And my son goes, babe, babe. And then my wife just goes, I can't do this anymore. I was like, oh man, you're gonna have to. We just got him. I was scared, I was like, oh. I looked at my son like, what'd you do? I felt bad, my wife was crying. I go, you okay? She goes, I'm not okay. I'm so tired all the time. I haven't done my nails done in I don't know how long. And now when I exercise, I pee a little. <laughs> and I'm growing a beard. <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to bring it up. <laughs> I felt bad. I felt bad. So I told her, I said, what can I do for you? How can I help you? And my wife crying. She says, can you just take care of your child? for one day? Can you do one day without me so that I can go and be home? <laughs> one day? I can do one day. I'm a man, people. I stepped it up. I did. I called my mom. <laughs> I said, Mom, you better get over here, man. I'm scared. I'm Mexican. My mom showed up with her own mop and her own mop bucket. <laughs> That woman was mopping with one arm. She had the baby in the other. The washer and dryer were both going at the same time. I never seen anything like that at my house. I didn't even know they could work together like that. We're dealing with a professional. Before my wife got home, I told my mom, you gotta go, mom. My wife got there, people. The house smelled like fabuloso. Food was on the table. The clothes were folded real nice on the bed. My kid was asleep. I looked at my wife and I said, that's how you do it. She goes, you called your mom? I go, yeah, that's how you do it. And if you two got along, maybe she'd come over more often. Always gotta have your parents here. Mommy's boy. I still go home to this day so that my mom can make me a sandwich. And it's the best damn sandwich on planet Earth. Let me tell you how it works. I sit down, right? I watch TV with my dad. And then I go, Ma! Sandwich! And she moves. Okay, you want a sandwich? I'll make you a sandwich. She moves. And there's lettuce and tomatoes and onions, salt and pepper, mayo and mustard evenly spread. She rolls the turkey. She don't lay it out flat like an asshole. And she brings it to me on a plate, a real life plate. And she follows it with, and what do you want to drink? Oh. How about some iced tea, ma? I, I don't have any, but I'm gonna make you some. I know. Because you love me. 
And every bite of that sandwich is the best. And it's so good. You know why? Because her secret ingredient is love and compassion. My wife makes me sandwiches with anger and hate. Here's your sandwich. Like, can you at least line the breads up? Like, on a paper towel. Well, I'm not gonna dirty dishes for you. Well, can I have some iced tea? I don't know, can you leg show? Let me see. I had, a, I had a guy one time at a show and he yelled out, you should have married a Mexican girl. I did. <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> one of the things that my wife and I have in common, we both like to watch other couples fight in public. <laughs> it brings us closer together. Right? Oh, we'll stop whatever we're doing. My wife's good at it. We'll be walking, all of a sudden she'll just go, look, 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 look. She doesn't even move her lips. Look, 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 look. I'm like, watch behind me, behind me. Then she'll say something like, call me, call you. Yes, yeah, so we can stay here and like, act like we're on the phone. There we are having a fake conversation. Yeah, whoa, yes. Yeah, sure. We don't want to leave the fight. We want to hear what they're fighting about. Because we want to see if what they're fighting about is just as stupid as the things that we fight about. Now, the stupidest fight I ever saw between a couple, all right, was at the grocery store. I'm at the grocery store. I don't know where my wife is. She's there. I don't know where she is. I'm in the chip aisle, and it's going down. And it's an old couple. And when I say old, I'm talking about like in their 80s old. And the old man goes, I want some salt and vinegar potato chip. And the old lady goes, you can't have salt and vinegar potato chips, John, because you have high blood pressure. The doctor said no more salt. Because I don't give a good goddamn, Brenda, what the doctor said. I want some salt and vinegar potato chips. She goes, get the sun chips. I don't want no damn sun chips. I make my own money. I want to get what I want, damn it. I'm texting my wife, hurry, chips, chips, chips. <laughs> By the time my wife got there, John had already won. He had his chips. He was walking off. I don't give a damn. Brenda was behind him. John, listen to the doctor, John. I hugged my wife. I said, look, baby, it never ends. We got in the car. We got in the car. My wife goes, what happened in the chips? I get into it too, right? I'm like, all right, check it out. The dude was like, I want some salt and vinegar potato chip. And the old lady's like, you can't have salt and vinegar potato chip because the doctor said that you have high blood pressure and because the doctor said... And then my wife goes, oh my God, maybe he has high blood pressure. <laughs> I said, well, maybe he's a man and he wants salt and vinegar potato chip. <laughs> well, maybe she's just trying to help him. I said, maybe he has high blood pressure because his wife's always on his ass. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I think we're having their fight. <laughs> we weren't even fighting today. What just happened? That's how much me and my wife fight. We will fight other people's fights. <laughs> when we run out of fights, we're like, bring us another one. Like, what do y'all fight about? We'll fight about that. <laughs> I don't know, man, we get divorced about every six months. <laughs> the last time we almost got divorced was over trash bags. <laughs> you laugh, but she won't take out the trash. Now, don't get me wrong, ladies. I know it's my job. I saw your faces. <laughs> I know I'm the trash man, I get it. But every once in a while when I'm not around, can you help daddy out a little bit? She won't, even if it's full. She'll just put trash around the trash. As if to say, hey stupid, do your job. You know where I draw the line? I don't replace the bag. If I'm the trash man, she's the bag lady, I don't care. So here's what happened. I had something to throw away. I got to the trash can, there was no bag. At that point, I had to make a decision. Put the bag in myself like a little bitch, or throw it away anyway and send out a message. I decided to send out a message. I threw it away and I went to the living room and I prepared myself. Well, I knew she was coming. I was not ready for her to bring the entire trash can with her. Oh, she brought the whole trash can. <laughs> Why did you do that? I was ready. I said, because it's not my job. I'm the trash man, you're the bag lady. Of course, my wife, <laughs> nobody has jobs. 
If you see something in this house that needs to get done, just do it. <laughs> really? I said, when's the last time you took out the trash? Oh my God, you're yelling at me. <laughs> oh, now we're fighting about the way that I talk to her. No more about trash bags. I just want to know when the last time is you took out the trash. I don't like the way you're talking to me. But... <laughs> when is the last time that you took out the trash? You're being an asshole. <laughs> And that leads to, I'm so tired of this. I'm like, I'm tired of this too. I don't even know why we're married. I don't even know why we're married either. I'm a file for a divorce. We'll bring the papers, I'll sign them. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Keep the house. I know, because it's in my name, because your credit sucks. Well, <laughs> that's why I did it. An hour later, I'm like, I'm hungry. You hungry? Let's go eat, come on. As I'm putting the bag, come on! <laughs> I wish we could fight like that. We don't fight like that anymore. Now we have a baby. So now we fight like this. I'm so tired. I'm tired. Shh, you wanna wake up the baby? Cause you're gonna wake up the baby. I don't care if the baby, shh. I'm a file for divorce, bring the paper. Sometimes we wake up the baby, but that doesn't stop us. Now we're in the baby room and my wife's really pissed. I'm in the doorway. I'm signing fake papers. We'll fight through the baby monitor. Oh, my wife's in there. I'm so tired of your father. He thinks he can do whatever he wants. He's a, he's a father now. He can't just go out. I can hear you. I can hear you. Over. Oh, the woman can't stop spending money. It used to be Macy's. Now it's Amazon. Yeah, go fuck yourself, Amazon. Oh, there's always a box at the house. She tries to sneak it past me. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I needed it. I needed it. I like when the both of us pull up to the house and there's a box at the door and Captain Evil over here acts surprised. <laughs> oh my God. What could it be? <laughs> Maybe it's for you. Really? FedEx guy doesn't even know I live here. <laughs> For me. Oh, everybody, she buys something. All her friends, all her friends sell something. Oh, all of them, they're consultants. They're consultants. They, they want me to be on their team. They want me to be on their team. Oh, she'll come home with candles and makeup. And I go, Where'd you get that? My friend, my friend. She, she sells it. Oh, she came home one day with essential oils. Have you heard of this? A box of bullshit. It's a box of bullshit. And then it gives you a book to tell you what the bullshit does. She was all excited. Look what I got. Now I can heal us. I have rosemary, tangerine, lavender. Now we can sleep. I get the flu, right? I got the flu. This one pulls her book out. Tell me what you got. Hey, what you, why don't you go to CVS and get me some NyQuil, Harry Potter? <laughs> I don't need a potion, woman. I need medicine. <laughs> what are you, a witch? <laughs> Good. Get on your broom, go to CVS, <laughs> and get me some NyQuil. <laughs> oh, if, 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 it's, if, it's my, if it's my idea, it's wrong. If I came up with the plan, it's wrong. We went to go buy furniture, okay? We bought the furniture. The man informs me it's gonna be $400 to deliver the furniture. I inform him to go fuck himself. <laughs> I made the decision in front of my wife. My wife heard what I said. She said nothing at the store. We get in the car to go pick up the U-Haul that I need. Here we go. 
She's over there in the passenger seat. I go, what? She goes, nothing. I go, not nothing. I can feel it in my balls. I said, what? That's what she says to me like I'm stupid. Why did you get a U-Haul so far away? Does my wife think that I called U-Haul? No, 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 further. No, that one's too close. No, I need the furthest U-Haul you got. Why? Because it pisses her off, that's why. And we haven't fought in a while. I'm trying to make this Saturday worse. Can you... Uh... Oh, something as easy as going through the drive-thru with my wife, it becomes a thing. And I try to be nice, right? I try to be patient. I try to get on top of it. Hey, baby, be ready. Okay. One more car, it's gonna be our turn. Know what you want. Oh, well, what do they have? What do they have? It's McDonald's. It's the same thing since we were four. Oh, it's our turn to order. She acts like she's never seen this menu. She has to lean over me. <laughs> Do they have whole wheat buns? Whole wheat buns? We're about to eat trash. It's garbage. You can't take whole wheat buns and then pick stuff out of the garbage and then put buns around it and make it healthy. I don't say that because I love my wife. What comes out of my mouth is, do you have whole wheat buns? <laughs> Look at that, baby, they have whole wheat buns. Oh, okay, I'll have nuggets. <laughs> oh, it's not her fault. She blames her sign. I'm a Virgo, that... I'm sorry, that's how Virgos are. We... Oh, even a nice restaurant. And we try, you know, we try to go on date nights. Even the nice restaurants becomes a thing. We get dressed up as soon as we sit down. You wanna share a salad? Wouldn't it be nice if the two of us shared a salad? No. When have you ever seen me get off the couch, go to the kitchen, chop myself up a salad, and then give you half? I don't say that, that's in my head. What comes out of my mouth is, yes. She orders the salad that we're supposed to share. The waiter says ranch or blue cheese and she looks at me like I have the answer. I picked the salad. I know not to answer. But then I think to myself, well, maybe today's my day. Maybe today I get to make a decision for us. You know what, buddy? We're gonna do blue cheese. No ranch. Stop! She said something to me one time, my wife. Funniest thing my wife has ever said. So I have to share it with you. So here's how it went down. Okay, you need to know something. I'm not very tall. I'm only five foot five, okay? Yeah, but God gave me beautiful legs. So I give my wife the leg show. What's the leg show, you ask? I'm glad you did. It's where I take my underwear and I shove them up my ass. And then I stand above her face while she sleeps. I wait for her to wake up. She always wakes up like, oh, what's wrong with you? She hates the leg show, so I do it often. So one day, she's watching TV, and I'm like, you know what, it's leg show time. I took my underwear, I shoved them up my ass. I got in front of the TV. She goes, move. I go, I'm not gonna move, woman, until you admit that this is the most beautiful calves you've ever seen in your life. I think she had enough. She stood up off the sofa, she looked at me right in the face. She goes, of course you have great calves. You're five foot five, you've been doing this your whole life. Cut her off right there. I said, no dick for you. That's... I 
do, I cut her, no, for the next seven, eight minutes, no dick for you. Because I will if she wants to, but not right away. 